new Microsoft Teams tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Microsoft Teams. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So for those of you who don't know what Microsoft Teams is, Microsoft Teams is a team collaboration software that can help you collaborate with your team and work together. So let's get into it. Now, it is not free, but if you are willing to use it for personal use then it is free if you want to use it for team or for your business then it will not be free it will cost you a few dollars so speaking of let's go ahead and take a look at their pricing plan so over here if we come over here we can see their pricing plan so this is the pricing plan right here we can see microsoft team essential it starts at four dollar per user per month as you can see right here and in it you're going to get 10 gigabytes of cloud storage per user real-time collaboration file and polling team meeting recordings with transcripts and live captions as well standard secure data encryption and many many more if you go with the microsoft 365 business basic you're going to get basically all the softwares that you see over here teams exchange onedrive and all excel word and all of the other ones and you get everything including from the previous plan and you get identity access and user management up to 300 employees you can create custom business emails web and mobile version of word excel and powerpoint and outlook are also available one terabyte of cloud storage per employee 10 plus additional apps for your business needs booking planner microsoft forms and others automatic spam and malware filtering anytime phone and web support and you get a 365 copilot available as an add-on as well and then you have the microsoft 365 business standard which is going to be 1250 per user per month and here you get everything in the previous plan but you get also microsoft loop which is their notes taking app or productivity app and you also get clipchamp which is their video editor as well and you get a desktop version of excel word powerpoint as it does in the uh, basic plan you get webinar and attendees registration and many many more so you can go ahead and check out any of these this is for the business plan if you go with the home plans you can see the microsoft teams is free over here so you can go ahead and sign up for free you get group calling up to 60 minutes and 100 participants unlimited chats with friends and family collaborative planning and task polling five gigabytes of cloud storage and data encryption for meeting and chats you get microsoft ec5 personal which is going to be seven dollars per month and you get everything over here so all of the 365 applications and you get one terabyte of cloud storage ad free email calendar and contacts in one place creative tools and other advanced grammar spelling and editing softwares and support is available live captions are also available as well all for seven dollars and then we have 365 family which is going to cost you ten dollars per month and in it you get everything in the previous plan but you can add up to six people instead of one you get group calling up to 30 hours and 300 minutes same as the personal one you get premium versions of word excel powerpoint mac and web and mobile one terabyte of cloud storage in the personal whereas in the microsoft family you get six terabytes of cloud storage which is exactly the same as one terabyte per person so if you have six people you're gonna get six terabyte one terabyte per person so it's not that much of a difference and everything else looks about exactly the same so let's go ahead and get started for free if you go ahead and click on start for free you're going to need to download the software so i've already downloaded it over here so as you can see right here so now we can just simply sign in i've already logged in as well so we can just simply click on the button and you can go ahead and sign in over here or what you can do is you can sign in the microsoft account in windows but since we've already downloaded it let's go ahead and take a look over here i'm going to increase the size over here so that you guys can see it all right so now we have it over here let's go ahead and begin so when you first come in into teams you're going to have this center right here it's going to take you over to the chat setting over there and over here you can build your community all right so you can create your own community for school sports business professional life events and many many more so let's go ahead and click on create our own community here we can go ahead and add the image or the avatar for our community by clicking on the button and uploading our own image let's go ahead and add that and here you can add your own community name and then over here you can add a description and you can add a require approval to join public if you want you can go ahead and do whichever one you want you should be good to go i'm going to keep it private as of right now and then click on create so now we have ourselves a community we have now a channel and over here we can go ahead and start you know inviting people you know create a group chat over here we can create welcome messages we can create new events 
at the top we have our files as you can see right here we have our photos are going to be over here our posts are going to be over here here we can see the event calendar here we can plan out all the events that are currently you know that are coming up so let's go ahead and do that and you can even invite other members from here and share the join link and you can even change the background image of this board over here so you got a bunch of different images you can select which image whatever image you want so let's go ahead and create an event all right first we'll create an event or if you want we can create a welcome message hey there welcome we're glad to have you join us i think this looks good so we'll just save there we go now whenever someone joins our channel or our community they're going to be presented with that message and now let's go ahead and create an event so let's say this is the event right here let's say this is a trip to the mountains or a hiking trip whatever you want to call it hiking trip over here you can add events over here so let's say this one is for tomorrow so we'll go ahead and click on select the date for tomorrow and set the time as well so we're gonna wake up early for the trip so we'll go ahead and put 6 a.m all right so tomorrow it begins at 6 a.m and it's gonna last for until monday right and we'll be back at 7 p.m or 6 p.m whatever you want to call it right and it's going to be all day every day right here and does not repeat and then you can over here add a location you can add an address if you want you can keep it an online event or an offline event if you keep it online event you click on the settings button it's going to take you over to the tab all right so i got to sign in over here as well so let me just sign in here you can go ahead and you know add a settings over here so you can see meeting options who can pass by the lobby people who were invited everyone or me who can present everyone only me it depends on you and then you can go ahead and click on save and you should be good to go now let's go back to the meeting event and here at the bottom you can add a description of the event whatever you want to call it tomorrow we have planned a hiking trip you know everyone in the group chat will be able to see that everyone in the community will be able to see this event and they'll be notified and they can go ahead and move come over here to this location you know and participate in the hiking trip and once you've finished creating your event then you can just simply click on the send button and down below you can use the invite link to more people and there you go so this is going to be the invite link all right you can go ahead and copy it close it and there we go so as you can see this is how it would look like in the community whenever you an event or a post is made it'll come up over here as a thread over here you can see the files the photos and everything and over here people will be able to react to this event as well and people can even join the trip or the event over here but via the button and we also have this conversation here people can go ahead and type about the conversation and you can go ahead and create a conversation over here and people can talk about that event. so this is a pretty cool application to use when it comes to you know talking with teams talking with communities talking with family members or maybe even for personal use as well it depends on you and then over here is going to be your chat here you can view all of your contact lists and all of your messages and here is the calendar here you can go ahead and view all of the, your calendar all the upcoming events all the meeting schedules and everything so it's pretty cool and then over here is going to be the activity here you'll see all of your mentions reactions and other notifications over here so pretty cool and this is how you do it this is how you use microsoft teams and this one was for individual use so yeah pretty simple make sure to download the application beforehand and yeah after that you should be good to go so pretty simple thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye